Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery, and I'm excited. I'm going to rub the edges down on my little tape moon, and I'm going to use my Payne's Gray. And a lot of other colors I like, including the Amethyst from Artist Loft. And eventually a spatula. This is some Prussian blue. This is some Venetian blue from Modern Masters. This is some dioxazine purple. Masters Touch. from Hobby Lobby. And I think I'm going to be brazen and throw a little bit of the Anita's White Metallic with some of the Venetian Blue in it. I want to be more brazen. <laughs> I'm not done yet. I don't know what this is, but I know it's got iridescent quality to it. And this time, I'm going to, every time I go across, I'm going to try and cover my edge. I attempted to see what it would look like to use the Prussian blue on the, I, excuse me, the Payne's gray on the edge and I wasn't super happy. It was way too sheer. So as long as the paint is wet, I should be able to manipulate it no problem. I'm going to move that right over to the edge. Slide my spatula back and forth. Use my finger to help cover that edge of that dripping paint even before I go back with the spatula again because I love the the stripey color in the sky and the more times I spatula the more mixed in it will be. So if I use my finger and push a little bead right up over the top then I have an even better shot and not losing what I love the most of. So long as I'm swiping all the way across, it shouldn't be a problem. My intention is to put some big puffy pink clouds down at the bottom of this. But right now I just would really love to be able to balance my spatula so I could drag some paint up to the edge and not have the canvas showing. That would be neat. I think I'm going to use a little bit more of that color in there. And maybe the pink diamond needs to come into this. I'm thinking yes. Because that color is not as pretty as I wanted it to be. But it might make a perfect cloud. And who's to say the clouds would only be low? I did a sky recently, or escape with a mostly sky. Just a little tiny landscape, and I'm not sure when that's going to air. All right, I mostly swiped down. So I'm thinking. I'm going to go ahead, take some Anita's White Metallic. Add a little color to the edges. Just use it like, oh, it looks like a snow scene. Well, it could be, you know, with the moon. That might be really neat. Unexpected. <laughs> a little unexpected. neat. A little afterglow at the edge of the sky. Well, so much for clouds. Throw a little more Anita's in there. I like the idea of the pink though.
Oh, I've got just enough. I've got perfect color dripping over my edge. That's excellent. Once the moon comes out, that ought to be interesting. I don't believe I can do that right now, although I'd love to. <laughs> yep, snowy night. Starry night, too, maybe. Just use my spatula along the horizon line. See if I can make the impression of exposing some things. If I get too much color, it's just going to be a, a shadowy, snowy bank. But the moonlight ought to be able to shine somewhere. Do a little more white. I wonder if I could put some trees with snow on them. I could, if I knew what I was doing. And I used to. I used to make Christmas cards like this. I'm going to take some Anita's White Metallic and put it right down along the edge of my canvas right now while I've got some paint falling over. And the rest of the paint above it is wet, which means that I can always meld those colors by using my spatula. Or at this moment, my fingers. <laughs> Which means I'll have to go back in there again. I used to love make snow, making snow forts. I grew up in Upper New York State, and the drifts could be, you know, 12, 15 feet tall, depending on the lay of the land. I'm going to put some pink. Into the background. The hillsides are Sort of, kind of. The Anitas will allow a spatula to dig down and make it look like it's exposing canvas. I fix All that fixing was for just one mark I didn't care for. Alright, the question is, should I try and peel that moon off? What would happen if I waited till it dried? It's been a long time since I used painter's tape for painters. I used to be a painter in Boston too. And this side is good. Yay. I'm really tempted by some, some sky color. Just because I would have been done, but I dragged my fingernail through it again. Let's go a little bit more. This is just the last tiny bit of an afterglow. I didn't get my color. I think I have too much blue on my spatula, so I'm going to take that off. It's subtle. I still needed some clouds. I was I, This was supposed to be clouds to begin with. I kind of want to put the trees in. How much time do I have left? I got plenty of time. So let me grab, no more need is white metallic because it's too sheer. Grab a little tiny dish. You could probably use a bottle cap for this if you wanted to. I need to make sure I have a point. If 
I put a dark side on them, that'll be good because it'll be moonlight from one side. So I'm probably going to put some put some purple out in the same little dish. and use it for shadows. I kind of want to use my tweezers. making it look like I have snowy branches. Just dragging them sideways carefully because they're very sharp. And let's see about my purple. This is the fat dry end. All right, I kind of like that. I want to try the moon. I might be sorry. It's really down there. Well, it was going to bleed anyway. So now what? Something to be dealt with tomorrow. Just using the spatula. <coughs> kind of like it. It's maybe a little on the large side, which could help be helpful actually. Because I could probably just move that color right in there. Kind of glad I found out now. Might as well show you guys. I so want to put the white in there now. I know it'll bleed right into the blue if I do it though. Fortunately, I have a little bit of that sky mixture right on my tile. I'm sorry if my head's in the way. I wasn't actually expecting to do another snow scene. I really wanted to do those clouds. I'll do those clouds another time. Sort of a misshapen moon too, but it's uh, it's kitschy cool. I want to put a little bit of, oh really? Okay, fine. How am I gonna get rid of that? <laughs> Probably my usual way. Or my finger might work just as well. Fortunately, that's really dark right there. And also, fortunately, I still have quite a bit of that color left. So now. probably have a moon to clean up tomorrow too. If I put less paint on and it and I had led it around like I am with the skewer and it hadn't gone all the way into the blue and the purple, 
probably wouldn't bleed. But I suspect strongly that it will bleed. So whatever finishes this painting now will have to be <laughs> amended tomorrow a little bit. I wasn't really expecting to put any stars in. But why not? Alright, I've got to do something. That little spot I see right there. Everything else is good. I love you guys. I hope you come again. I post seven days a week. If you'd like to purchase an artwork or take a class with me at the house in Spring Hill, Florida, Please use the email address you will find below the link tree. The link tree is the first blue link underneath the video. I don't necessarily recommend doing the moon part while it's while everything is wet because I suspect strongly that I may regret it. But for right now, it means the picture's more or less looking the way it will look. So I run a monthly drawing and you can see the prizes for the drawing in the exhibition video that I included in the end screen of every video or actually this one at least <laughs> and most recent videos will have the will have the exhibition video I am tapping off my colors and where the paint is deep it's probably not a good idea to keep trying but I can add some more stars tomorrow if I want which is good because some of these canvases are a little textured. So, that reminds me of stuff I did last year. I kind of want something right there where I can see that canvas. And I like that and I might do it again. So what else should I tell you guys? Please give me a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. I'd really appreciate that. If you watch the videos longer, you help me out. Your comments keep my morale boosted and you help make my channel out. The donations that come through PayPal and the icon is on the bottom right hand corner of my YouTube channel banner are what keeps me creating tutorials you guys at YouTube. I think I want that to be less. Okay, so I will torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint, mostly in the sky, because if I torch this part down here, it's going to be potentially burnt. What else can I tell you? Questions are fine. Please ask me. My community board will show you tomorrow's video. That's pretty neat. I like it. Thank you guys for the wonderful comments. Did I say that twice? It's okay. I really appreciate the love you share. My Amazon link is on the link tree. My two books, volumes one and two, because I can and unlimited possibilities, are there on the Amazon link also. And as well as lots of other tools. And any, anything you shop on Amazon, if you start at my link, it helps me out. Um, my email address is below the link tree. Should you be interested in taking a class? I think I said all this. <laughs> taking a class with me at the house in Spring Hill, Florida, or purchasing an artwork. Uh, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group is a Facebook group and it's on the link tree along with others and it's for fans and excuse me the, appreci the appreciation group this is happening too often um, is for students fans and collectors is Expressionist Art Studio Gallery fans and collectors is to see older artworks in the albums and someday I'll catch up and they'll be current but not yet and Expressionist Art Studio Gallery totes and more has lots of links to spring clothing which you can also see below the video and click on and that has all over print leggings and all over print t-shirts and I'm just adding new things recently um, what else what else what else what else <laughs> I told you most of everything I need please give me a thumbs up and share my videos when you watch them longer you help me out I love you guys take care of each other take care of yourselves bye for now this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill Florida